Welcome to my program. Thank you for bringing me all the way down to San Paulo. San, San Paulos. Can you tell me your full name and your age and where you live? Uh, I live in San Paulo. My name is Barbara Vizelli and I am um, 53 years old. 53. What do you do for a profession? I am a medical. You're a medical yeah. doctor? Yes. And you, your specialty is endocrinology? Yes. So does that mean that you understand thought with emotion releases a specific hormone into the bloodstream? Yes. Yes? And a negative thought with emotion release, causes a negative effect release of hormones mm -hmm. into your bloodstream? Yes. And a positive thought with emotion releases positive effect hormones. Every hormone is needed in the body, it has a job. But when the hormones are not enough or too much, it causes problems, correct? Correct. Okay. You also would know that when you suppress grief, it causes a release of excess hormones, grief hormones, that makes your muscles go tight and interferes with your moods, correct? Correct. Okay. There's a lot of people don't understand that. Communication is a wonderful thing to, for health because when you communicate you solve a problem and you stop releasing stress hormones, correct? When you were dizzy, did you fall to have a feeling of falling to only one side or any side? When she would turn to one of the sides, it would be worse. You've heard of vasovagal, haven't you? Vasovagal. Vasovagal. It's a it's a sickness provoked by the vagus nerves. I haven't heard of it. That's what it would have been. Mm -hmm. That's what it would have been. See, when, when you bend over, did you feel sick? Well, yeah, she would feel sick when she bent over, yeah. but she doesn't remember. It's not common, but one in four or five MS patients gets that. Yeah, all right. And you did vomit. I'm not. And usually only when you turn your head to one side that made you feel like you had to vomit. Yes. look at, at the, the lumbar section of the spine, we always look to see the obturator foranum as a different size. Mm -hmm. and, there, and that tells us if you've got a, mis, a, a twisted pelvis. Well, they're exactly the same size. So when this x-ray was taken, you didn't have a twisted pelvis. And yet, the distance at the iliac crest is, is different. It's, this is a lot higher on the yeah. on the right, you see? So you can see there's a big, big difference. Oh, it's wow. probably a half an inch. Half an inch. But when you stand up, I can check that. So if you stand up, I put my finger in here and I feel the iliac crest. See, I can see a half an inch difference. Little short steps. Little short steps. Everything is still too tight. It's too it's too tight. Let go. Let go. Let it all drop on the floor. Let it drop on the floor. Come on. You've done this before for years. You did it for years. Do it again. A little, little that's that's better. Okay, you still a little 
stop, 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 and stop. Okay? Now, you don't need to do this. So, you've got to relearn not to do that anymore. Watch my foot. It's really small movement. You only bend your knee a little bit. Okay, so now I want you to walk. It's like music, it's like... Do, do, do music. Yes. Yes, that's better. Heel toe, yes. Yes. Is that better? Heel toe and flow. Heel toe and flow. Does that make it easier for you? Yeah. Good. Heel toe and flow. Heel toe, heel toe and flow. And it's quiet now without me trying.